Check this out. I scored these off camera a while back. Ah, old iron skillet. And a horseshoe. I think that's from a horseshoe game. That might be worth a buck or two. Ah, check this out. You know what I think that is? It says uh, Herter SL. No, 8L. Herter. No, Herters. Herters 8L. I think that's like an ironsmith, a blacksmith ladle for like uh, molten lead, like pouring fishing weights and some sort of metal working. I could be wrong about that, but I think that's what it is. It, it looks like it. Pretty cool. And I think that's worth about 20 to 30 dollars like that right there. Pretty neat little deal. So this iron stuff's always good, you know, I mean, generally you won't want to scrap stuff like this because people like buying it. I just, the higher end ones of these, even used condition, will be like 25 bucks you could resell it for. Hi baby! An oldie but a goodie. My old friend, the garbage disposal. Oh. Hey, look at that down there. Looks like we've got some pressure cooker action. Although I only see the lid, but pressure cookers are always good. Well, the pan to that wasn't in there, or the pot. But those pressure cookers are nice because it's it's a real thick metal. And uh, oh wow, look at that. That's actually tin. I'm surprised to see that. Huh. Oh well. Well, never mind on that. <laughs> They're usually uh, stainless steel or an aluminum. That one's just plain old steel. Garbage disposal. And I got in there and there was a couple bags of clothes. And that's just not really anything I can deal with. So They're pretty nice stuff. So I'm just going to leave a little indicator hanging out here so I might see it and there's a couple decent little ladies bags in there and uh, just put them right there on the curb someone might want to have that and hopefully the last owner doesn't come by and see it and just toss it in here you know just toss it back in the garbage but oh well Picking up that stuff from my take a dog for my walk dumpster diving video. Snatching all that stuff up while I'm at it. If you watched my dog walking video, there was a couple fan motors in there, ceiling fan motors. And I missed out on those. Oh well. Sink was still here. Check this out. A little steel. Ooh, nasty. A little skill. A little steel skillet down there with some maggots crawling around in it. Oh. <laughs> Yummy. Those steel skillets. They're pretty popular deals today. And that's a smaller one. But the bigger ones sell for good money you know 25 bucks so whenever you find one of those steel skillets like that you always want to keep it i'm not sure how much that little one's going to be worth but uh if it cleans up you know it's 10 15 bucks for sure uh, and another thing about i know there's people out there that just for some reason they can't see a problem with taking food and you know old medicine from pharmacies and stuff and donating it to shelters and just just seems like there's nothing you can say to them but you know i mean it's summertime and i don't know if you know what 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 sun does to to steel in the summer but it's only like 85 degrees out here right now and this thing is just i can't i can't put my fingers on it for very long i, I could if i really wanted to i suppose maybe for a while but that's hot 
And when it gets into 90s and up to 100 degrees in the summer, when you get that legitimate summer heat going, these things, they're just, they're just scalding hot. I mean, you can't even touch them with your bare skin. So, you know, and then you throw in some food, you throw in a little food and some heat, and you, you're just, you're literally risking people's lives. I, I don't know if you can actually let that sink into your mind or not, but that's, that's, that's actually exactly what you're doing. You, there's, there's no doubt that that kind of stuff can just flat out kill people. Just hope you pay attention to what you're doing out there because any real dumpster diver knows that how hot these get and if you're just driving behind stores in the middle of the night and not quite sure what you're doing, you know, you really need to start paying attention. There it is. It's actually nice. Oh, it's got some surface rust on it. I'll take a scouring pad to it and see if I can get that off of there. Not quite sure. It might be too far rusted. I, I don't know. I have to try to clean it up. And there's some aluminum bits in there. And these were in there. I, I didn't see them. They were underneath those boxes. And uh, well, at least I didn't see them anywhere. But uh, I don't know if they were peeking out. I'll have to look at the video. But that's actually a very nice pair of shoes. Uh, New Balance. Just very little wear. And they're a size 9. So. We're gonna have a little shoe department accident going on here. See what, see what they do. Oh yeah, yeah, that's fit me. Just about perfect. I could probably go nine and a half on those, but that, they're pretty nice though. If I don't keep them for myself, I'll definitely put those on the curb. That's just a nice quality pair of shoes. No. Not the tongue. There's why they were. There's why they were throwing away right there. The tongue came loose on that, on that one. The right one's fine. That's why they were throwing away right there. The tongue came loose from the shoe. But uh, someone still might want to have those. I'll put those on the curb. Someone still might get some use out of those. Actually, this would make a good spot for those shoes too. Keep on going, come on. <laughs> I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Well, I had a big load of stuff, including that brass from my Saturday Night Dive video. Those brass, light, uh, those brass lighting fixtures. And they ended up being worth about $16, a little less than I thought. But I cleaned them up and took some of that metal off of them and stuff. But I just yanked this stuff here out of this dumpster and I've never seen this kind of stuff in here before. Of course, I haven't checked this dumpster in a while. But it looks like uh, some kind of heating and cooling place moved in here and got some real nice, real nice chunky motors with some wire and nice bits of copper and brass and uh, some skibble scabble stuff. But that's a nice sight right there. I wouldn't mind seeing something like that in here more often. I don't know if someone just dumped it in here. Or if a business has moved in, I'll go around to check later. But uh, either way, that right there is always a nice sight. That's dinner money right there. And I made a made a sale on my site eSipity. That's the old uh, old uh, tablet with a cracked screen. Someone finally bought it. I sure wish I knew how to get more traffic to my site because I got a ton of stuff to list, but it's just not worth it if I don't have enough traffic, so. Anyway. I know I can, I know I can, I know I can. Yep, little heating and cooling place moved in here. They might've been here for a while, actually. This may have never noticed. Look at that chunky stuff. They're not throwing away all the good stuff. Maybe someone made a mistake and threw out them bits and I've just never noticed. But those look like brand new vehicles right there. So it might be a new place, I don't know. Either way, keep my eye on that.